banding birds is really the basics for, for the management of birds. You can tell their migration patterns, you can tell their ecology, their demographics. When we band the birds and take their measurements, that's all indicative of yes. their environment. The birds are most active early in the day. We meet at the center, depending on which center we're banding at, and load the equipment. I make sure I have coffee. Um, and then we go out to the site and put up the net. For me, setting the nets is a big priority because if the nets aren't set correctly, birds can get injured. Our main, main objective is not to harm the birds. They hit the net and they fall down into the bag. Okay. We measure to make sure the band is the right size, put the band on, and then start taking the measurements. We look at, does it have body molt, flight feather molt, how much fat, is it getting ready for migration, and is it loading fat up? And then the bird is weighed, and then the bird is released. Oh, there you go, that's cool. <laughs> I'm learning from everybody here. It's just, there's so much camaraderie. I, I feel like I've made personal friendships, and I knew none of these people when I started, and it's, and what do we have in common? We have our, a love of birds and conserving birds. So this is so cool. Two of the great things I get from this, a tool set and the potential for data that could be used in research. We're always looking for additional volunteers to actually learn the process and, uh, and get involved in it. We need people to help set up the nets. We need people to help carry the birds from the net to the banding table. If you want to, you can start learning how to handle a bird, how to take measurements. So it's really what you want, how far you want to go. The more people that we have involved, the more places we can conserve, uh, the more data we can collect, and we can do research projects that otherwise would be impossible. I love it. I love the fact that I can look at this bird really closely, see the plumage, and then when it flies off, I know I know that bird, I handled that bird, and that's incredibly special. It really is kind of a spiritual experience, and I'm usually not that way. But they gave me a woodpecker to release, and the woodpecker just sat in my hand for a few seconds, and then it flew off. And all of a sudden, I felt like it was my brother, <laughs> my brother Jimmy, and who has passed away. And it was just a really, really wonderful feeling, which I never expected to have. 